All right, yeah, it's at a weird angle here, cause, but I'm trying to get a lot of sunlight. Um, this is a machine that uh, I'm going to use for, uh, I was originally just going to use it for bookmarks and doing like a small print run of counters because it can do die cutting. I haven't uh, tried the die cutting uh, thing with it. It's just a rink. It's so tiny. It's only like, I can do like, I think three and a half inches or something. You can see how it works. It's just, just kind of like crank it through. And then you can put different um, plates inside and I can uh, emboss paper. And then uh, you, know, you can put like thin cut uh, dies and I can, you know, cut stuff. Anyways, I was thinking, like I said, originally I was just going to use it for bookmarks and stuff and the counters. And then uh, with this, uh, this book that I picked up, sorry about the glare. Um, when I picked that book up and I was like looking at just a little bit, not a lot, but I was looking at some of this stuff and he, you know, he's getting like uh, super hyper creative was trying to figure out how to do things. And I went, you know what? Um, hmm. I wonder if I can start using paper. I've used, I've played with paper lots of times, uh, but more for my DBA um, uh, making camps and campments and stuff like that and like little buildings and whatever. Anyways, this this was a watercolor paper that I ran through the embosser and you can see how much of a definition it gets. But I was thinking maybe, you know, I can start, you know, maybe it's one of those weird, um, I don't know what to call it. I see them in, a, I think I had them in my 1-72 to 72, um, Civil War uh, battle set or something. I don't know what those things are called, but some kind of defensive works. Anyways, I'm just seeing there's probably a lot of potential uh, to use a rinky-dink little machine like this to um, make some pretty f freaking inexpensive and uh, creative train. I'm even thinking about, uh, it's too bad. I mean, you can't, I guess, get down to that uh this was a different type of game, maybe not so Hex Encounter-ish. I was wondering, it would be neat to see if there's some way of um, texturizing a map. You know, like the different terrain would have a, a different, so you could just look, feel down and it wouldn't even ha you wouldn't even have to worry about the color or whatever. Anyways, I'm just, you know, like I said, I, I love um, just thinking about things and trying to connect the dots. And if they don't work, they don't work. They do, they do, whatever. But, uh, yeah, there's fun as hell. Anyways, you know how much I paid for this? Mm, I think sixty dollars uh, Canadian. So you can imagine what you can get it get it for in the United States. Okay, see you later.